This one is just to show a few things you should look at when you're sizing a structure, in this case the house, actually my house, if you're sizing it for air conditioning. Now, there's plenty of uh, programs out there for doing heat load calcs, but they don't always tell you everything. So you need to look at the site to determine whether you're sizing this right. Now this, what I'm looking at right here is the east side of the house. This is pointing to where the sun comes up in the morning. This is usually the side of the house that has fairly low solar gain because it takes a while for the sun to get up over trees and the like. And I'm gonna show you what this looks like from the front porch of the house. Now here I've gone onto the porch and I'm looking to the east. And you can see there's quite a number of trees there. And they go up quite a way. So probably the sun coming from that end is not going to have a huge effect on this structure. It's going to be about 10 o'clock before it clears everything there, maybe 9.30. So it's starting from the coolest part of the day, which of course was early morning, and the sun's coming up. Even if you had large windows on this side, they would not be as effective at solar gain than windows on other parts of the house. Okay, back here again, showing the east side, we've got pretty small windows. We've got one to the left and a couple in the center there and a, a front door. So there's not a whole lot of solar gain on this structure in the morning. Now let's take a look at the north side. Now here looking from the north, pretty much the, the entire north side is the garage. It's not going to have a lot of effect. And of course, north side doesn't have much in the way of solar gain anyway, because there's no sun over here. Maybe if you had a big mirror out here reflecting or something. So this one's not gonna make a lot of difference. And the insulated part of the house is on the other side of the garage. So let's leave that. And we're gonna take a look at the south side. Okay, here we're looking at the south side of the structure. Now there's a couple of windows. You can only see one just a little bit there. And there's one other one that's buried by all the greenery. There's also a gazebo there that has uh, roofing panels that are, uh, are smoked. This is not gonna produce a lot of solar gain. And part of the reasons for that, besides not having any windows or anything and having a gazebo there, is look at this tree. That's a big old maple tree. And it's not close enough to the structure to shade the structure. So it doesn't do that, but it does kind of shade the grass around it. There's some respiration from the tree. That simply means water evaporating off the leaves. I can't quantify how much difference that makes. It's yeah, you know, it may be fairly big on some. And if that tree was very close to the house, it would actually shade the roof. But it's not, it's a good 30 feet away. This south side is not huge. Now, kind of traditionally, everyone used to say the south side's the big monster, but it's easily shaded by the roof overhang. If you look close here, you can see that window is almost completely shaded by the roof overhang. And everything else is kind of shaded by the tree and the arbor vitas and all that. So really there's not a lot in this one that's gonna to contribute to your heat gain. Now I should say, while I'm talking about this, the prevailing winds are from the southwest and this is a south view. So you would have winds moving up that way and that's going to affect some things it doesn't make a lot of difference in cooling although it could if it's hot enough now let's look at the west side okay this is a monster that really throws things for a loop this is the west side it's the deck and the top it's a daylighter so there's uh two levels i'll show you this from a little different perspective here in a minute 
but this is where all the heat gain comes from in this structure. Mostly the heat gain came from those two windows. Those are five by six windows. Pretty good size windows. Now I'm gonna show you another perspective of this from down below and maybe you'll get a little better idea of the overall. Now about three o'clock in the afternoon and that deck up there really gets hot. And you'll notice if I can get a little closer on that. Okay, that kind of awning sort of thing up there, that's made of a smoked uh, plastic. And uh, it was put up there because there was so much solar gain getting up into this structure in the afternoon. And it made uh, a pretty big difference in the solar gain in these afternoons. You might notice down there below the uh, deck, that's pretty much shaded up until about six o'clock, seven o'clock sometimes. So it, there's not a lot of solar gain there, but we still have this problem up here. Now, one of the reasons I wanted to emphasize this is when this house was built, I had a company come out and do load calcs on this structure. What I ended up with was a uh, pretty close in the winter. The winter heat load came out pretty much like I figured it would come out, and they were pretty accurate on it. What was really off was the uh, heat gain calc for the summer. It would be about a ton and a half, maybe a little over a ton and a half heat gain, and I should probably go two tons on the air conditioner. Well. I really didn't believe that was going to be true. I'd had a number of years in the industry at the time, and I'm kind of thinking, I don't think this is going to be right. So I put in three ton. Well, first hot summer I had, it didn't have that awning up there, at the highest temperature in the summer, which was about 100 degrees, I was maxed out. It did not overload it, but it did max it out. It was totally maxed out three ton and I should have had a two ton in there, according to them. A lot of these calcs, and I hope they're better now, but a lot of these calcs don't take into account that west sun. It is one of the biggest parts of heat gain calcs. Consider that, that that west sun is coming after the day has warmed. It's getting up towards its warmest. And when that sun starts coming through some big windows, you're gonna have some heat gain in that structure. I've watched it happen in this, uh, this house where when that heat would come through those windows, when the solar would come through those windows, the return air would immediately jump three or four degrees. That's one thing I think you should always be looking at when you do these calcs is consider that uh, the west sun. That is probably the most important on an awful lot of these structures. Anyway, that's a look around the house and what I think uh, the load calc should be looking at. That's it on this one.